crazily nastily and go, boop, stick it to the camera lens and come up here. Just start making the most ginormous mountain you've ever seen. Come up here, a little flatter. Literally like dumping the paint, smushing it, mushing it, getting it all over the place. Start to build what we want our little mountain to look like. Maybe it came down this way, right? Maybe it goes down that way in that direction. Who knows? We'll start to figure it out by the time we get there, right? Let's even take a bit more. Just have like a little different shape. Maybe I want it to grow a little bit more. Then we will add some more paint onto the canvas. Oh yeah. Spread that sucker out. This is for the, def the best part about painting mountains like this is they're always going to be different. No matter what you do, it's going to change, right? Now with the pressure of our brush, we can start to decide how we want our mountain to look, right? Obviously, you don't want to have it in a straight line like that. We'll come back and fix that later on, right? You can do it right now. Pull it from a different side. You get all these little angles that are coming into our mountain, right? Come down here. Maybe it's a straight swipe down the side of the mountain, and who knows? Our pressure decides how far the paint grows, right? Maybe this guy came through and cut right through. Dang, just with our pull of our brush. That's all you need to do. One little pull of the brush. You can cut your whole little mountain section right through that whole thing. Dang, you got a whole new piece of mountain over here. Pulling it off the other side. All depends on how we pull it and how we shape it. Right? And then you go back in and you start to, uh, start to highlight it differently with our different colors. It's going to look really cool. Really neat. It always looks different. That's the most fun part about it. Right? Just very lightly blending out our colors down here. Poof. So simple. So easy. Land going this way. Maybe it's coming like this. Maybe it's going down. It's going down. It's going down. All these other angles that are going all over the place. You got to make sure you have them in there. Otherwise, it's all sorts of craziness. Can't have it just be in all the same direction. That's not what a mountain looks like. Right now we're gonna come in and mix up some snowy color. I like taking a bit of our phthalo blue, a little bit more of our white, probably three times the amount of white versus the blue, right? Because the blue is so powerful. I'll take it over, right? But we don't want it to be super dark blue, and we don't want it to be super bright blue either. It's sort of just like that little sky color. Fantastic. Scoop it all up. Mix it down again. Now take a little bit of our dark mix and mix that in. And that'll help dull it down just the littlest bit, right? Still want it to be sort of brightish bluish. Wipe our knife off. Come back, scrape up a little bit over here. Come off the back sides of our peak just very lightly. Oof. Back in there even. Fantastic, right? Come over here. Maybe we swipe it down. Bring it down because we know we're going to come back and come a different way. So we're sort of setting up our shadows first. Come back in here. Streak it down. The lighter the pressure, the more it's going to break like that. It's going to look really cool. If we have like a little line of shadowing back in there, right? It's going to look neat when we go back to do it. Trust. We have this whole little thing come down in a different direction. Watch this. With a little angled swipe to it, right? It's going to help it look like there's an angled swipe to it when we go to do it. Now we're going to mix up our snow color, which can't be pure white. All right, so we're going to take about 99% white paint teensiest, tiniest little scrape of blue. I'm talking about that much, like barely any blue. Okay, we're going to come over here and find a new spot. Just like that. So you can see that there is blue in the paint, but it's such a bright color that it's going to look pure bright white against that dark color and our bright, our dark blue back here. But you don't want it to be pure bright white. At least I don't. We're going to come over here and take it like this, come up to the top, and just lay it down however you want it. Just so lightly, swipe it down, right? However it goes is how it goes. Drink, I, I, am I supposed to go get them right now? Okay, I'm gonna run downstairs and get the drinks that London got me. So everybody follow uh, Crappy Candles.
we're back. We're back, folks. Thanks for sticking around. I'm gonna go grab those drinks off the, uh, the front porch. So thank you, London, for grabbing, or for door dashing me some of the Dr. Peppers that I need to survive. If I don't have Dr. Peppers, I will not survive the winter. So I told London that, I, just, I didn't even tell her, I just mentioned that I didn't have Dr. Pepper. I was like, oh man, I'm out of Dr. Pepper. Poof, DoorDash shows up with Dr. Pepper in my house because London is that awesome. So go over and follow Crappy Candles and show her how much that you love, how much that she takes care of me, I guess. Even though we're divorced, still make sure I have everything that I need because she's so sweet. She's so sweet. So head over there and follow her. I'm all out of breath from like running up the stairs. <sighs> now we're gonna grab up a little bit more of our white paint and mix it down into that very, very, very lightish bluish color. And then it will come over here like this. Start shrieking it down. Eventually it'll connect up with its little guy over here. So let's come up. There we go, a little bit different angle. Not everything all has to be the same. We go through lots of white paint when we paint a mountain with Josh, let me tell you. Very nice, guys. Take a little bit of blue. Watch this. Shriek it off the back of that guy. Whole another piece of glacier or something up there. Drag a couple little bits down. Very cool. Just a little bit of details. Drag off the edge. Very neat. Back to our mountain guy. I want to cover every single thing in that white paint, right? You gotta have little areas of broken bits. Broken pieces. I'm so excited to go have a freaking Dr. Pepper after this show. I might have to rush through this painting just to go have a Dr. Pepper now. Oh, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> London is the bestest. Thank you, London. Everybody go follow the Crappy Candle. Yeah, that looks really neat, guys. Really textury. You know, snowboard down this mountain. Just ch cutting it up, man. Wicked cool. Little things, soft little details. Don't have to see everything, right? A little bit, bang, right out there. Cool. I like that. It's very neat. We're going to take our two inch brush, come up in here like this, just very softly. Just dragging a very little amount, but you can see the difference between the paint, right? This section versus that section. Very lightly dragging up and it just sort of softens the paint like it's far away in the distance, just a littlest bit, taking away the smallest amount of details that we can get, right? Coming up the same way from the other side, very lightly. Now, we have to go back in here. You know what? This backside looks so far away from our light source that maybe he's got a little, a couple little bits of darkness to him. Oh yeah. Just like that, change up the whole painting. All right, a couple little pieces in there. Soften them down just a little bit. Now we're gonna come back in, we're gonna grab a little bit of our white paint onto our brush, and we're gonna come up in here and just start dabbing at it, right? Taking our mountain, working it down. See what I mean? But we don't want the, the fog to be all one straight level across. So I like to kind of go up, maybe we come down. We pop down over here, maybe we start climbing up to the side, but again, working it down and away, and down and away, and down this way now. All right, our brushes turn the other side, turning it again. Can't be working against the grain. Can't work against the grain. Where is London anyway? I want to bring her up and say hello. Say thank you for my Dr. Peps. London, where are you now? Crappy candles, you're being summoned into the box. <laughs> I want you to come up so I can thank you for the Dr. Pepper. 